It's been said that music, writing music, and getting paid for said music is the best medicine. Here at DistroKid, we couldn't agree more. And we know how to get your music in the ears of your fans. Enjoy nice long walks on the beach? Just think of how good it'll feel when your music is uploaded to Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, plus a ton of other streaming services between your toes. Discover the feeling of getting paid when someone uses your music on YouTube. Ever experienced the sensation of keeping 100% of your song's earnings? You will explode with joy when you manage your Apple Music page, get your credits and lyrics into stores, have access to a music video generator, along with Spotify pre-save. Oh my! DistroKid has created endless open spaces where your songs can blossom. To book your stay, head down to the description below where you can save 7%. Distro Kid. With all this included, there's a first time for everything. Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Gonna break down Leonard Skinner, that smell. Love this song. Hope you do too. Also, thanks for supporting what I do here, Marty Music. Uh, if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, I got free courses and other great links down below. And then also, of course, I uh, really appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and clicking the bell notification helps me out a lot. It really does, so thank you. Let's break it down. All right, this song revolves around A minor and F, a little bit of G, but you got that classic A minor, A minor pentatonic all over the place. The intro, hit on A minor. and a cool little walk up. So you hit on the A minor, and then I'm sliding from three to five on the E to three on the A string. Then ring finger, and this is like the A minor pentatonic extended scale. I'm sliding from the five to the seven with my ring finger on the A string, so. And then my index finger is across the fifth fret here, and you're hearing the D and the G string. Once again, still just part of that A minor pentatonic. So then, as you're hearing that D and G, you hammer on pull off the seventh fret of the D string with your ring finger and then hit the seventh fret A string. Slide down to an F bar chord. So that intro. So F major to A minor. F, 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 A minor. And there's a little jingly in there. This varies a little bit, this riff, throughout the recording. I'm doing it from this position. It could be in this position as well. I'm going to show it right here. So... So I'm hammering down on that D and G of that A minor. Da, 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 da. And then hitting that second fret A string, which then climbs up a half step into the F again. So it's like... Second one is that uh, D and G 
open to second fret. Once again, right from that A minor. So from the top. Intro lick, fret one. So it hits, and then you go into the bend, not A minor pentatonic, seventh fret, G string, pinch harmonic, just dig in with the meat. So I'm really getting the meat of my thumb with that. And then it's going right down the A minor extended pentatonic scale. Five, seven, five on the D. Slide on the with the ring finger from seven to five. So your index can be on the third. Right there. Back to the seventh fret G string. Just right there in that zone. And then we're going to transition to the tenth fret B. So it actually starts with a bend, that second phrase. So from that, wee 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 So I'm releasing from that bend, fifth fret G. And then sliding into that zone, and I'm using my ring finger from 8 to 10 on the B. And that holds out with, you know, blasted sustain. So, da -be da sliding on the B in high E, 8 to 10, back and forth. Just with that finger. And then ring finger pulls off on the B, 10. Once again, all minor pentatonic. And then finally, just back to the... But with that harmonic ringing out, and but you're just right on the root there, into the first verse. So that first verse rhythm, F to A minor. It's back and forth with that little... So, verse. So, before the chorus, there you can hear an open E in there. Um, as a little lead in. And then the chorus does have a G chord in it to look out for. So verses, no G chord. Chorus, every other adds a G chord. And then the solos at the end, the progression is much more like, like Stairway to Heaven <clears throat> with A minor G, F, G, A minor, or all along the watchtower, that, or, you know, a Skinner thing for that matter. So in the chorus, the first time in the progression, no G chord, so. Ooh, that smell. Can't you smell that? 
The word that is a G chord. And depending on the arrangement that you've got going when you're playing it, you know, there's some guitar monies in there, but you could be in that pentatonic 8, 10 on the B. Or that's going to be the rhythm part. So... That's how the chorus goes. After that first chorus, there's a there's a, another harmony lick. You know, into pentatonic uh, soloing. So pentatonic here, fifth fret, A string. Just a bluesy kind of lick. And then up to an F note, which is actually not in the pentatonic, but it's to it's to play over that chord. Right pentatonic all the way through that. So there's this little little trippy section that comes next. Which what's going on is they're playing an F major 7 so you can hear that open high E in there to A minor which you could do that. You hear that? You know, they've got three guitars going on, so you could literally play F to A minor, and you're still there, but they're adding that. So, you know, A minor right there. You could play the top part, add the seven, which is the eighth on the B. After another chorus, you have more soloing, and that's when it goes into A minor, G, F, G, A minor. Solo, 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 A minor pentatonic. That's that new section right there. Then it goes in to a new riff, basically, that I'm gonna show you right now. So check it out, a C. That's the underlying chord structure, C power chord. G power chord, then B flat, F, and then the A minor. So going to add a little lick slide from the five to seven on the A string with the ring finger right from the power chord and then fifth fret D to the G power chord and then a similar kind of thing sliding from five to seven on the E string and then five on the A. So, you 
Ja, ja, da, da. A minor. No real new parts to learn from there. If you're trying to play the song, just remember the choruses. Have the G, whereas the verses do not. And then the jams on the way out go back to the... No, 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 no. Wrong lesson. I'm trapped. Okay, back. Back to Skinner. So that's it. Just remember when it starts, when you start ripping solos again, you add that G back and forth. And then finally, it does do that. Does that part again. it out. So have fun. Great tune. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for the continued support. Free courses in the link below. Thank you for subscribing here to the channel. Hope to see you again in another video. Take care.